tailored brands, the parent company of men's warehouse jobs, a bank and other men's fashion brands recently announced that it has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The company hopes the bankruptcy filing will help alleviate its $633 million debt. It was also announced in July that up to 500 stores have been identified that could potentially close over time. Taylor Brown said the coronavirus pandemic has caused it to implement a series of operating and organisational changes. The company also operates K&G Fashion Superstore and Moore's Clothing for Men. It has been a rough year for the brick and mortar retail industry, which already have been struggling. One tragedy from this bankruptcy is that men dress like shit today. Now let's be fair, most women today dress like shit as well. Having these stores go under certainly does fix a modern man's inability to dress correctly. Here's a clue for you guys. It classes up your look when you get rid of the t-shirt. Find a nice button down shirt, better yet, suit up when appropriate. The newer generations of men just don't dress up like they used to, unless it's required for work. On a related note, let's take a look at a girl from TikTok called Your Puppy Girl Jenna or Jenna. In summation, she pretends to be a dog. She does tricks such as high five, fetching balls in the park, and not to mention she does this on a leash. It would be one thing were she to do this in private, but your puppy girl Jenna acts like a dog in public in front of other people. Upon discovering this, my first comment was, so this is why God created pandemics. But in her defense, people have been acting like this way before coronavirus. Honestly, this just makes the human race look even more stupid. All of this evolution and advancement just so that a simp magnet can make 100k a month for acting like a dog. In all honesty, it doesn't really matter about her pretending to be a dog, but what blows people's minds is that she earns a million for doing it. It is incredibly sad how far society has fallen. The average individual needs more than three years of hard work to gain what she gets only in one month doing these videos. Truly, there are no words for this insane society. And even more disturbing, some weak-minded individuals have even paid her close to $1,200 for a video. She has found a business model that works for her, give her credit for that. And at least she's subverting the culture without giving Hollywood their cut, and it's probably not as demeaning as having Harvey Weinstein perform an obscene act on her while she begs for a job as an extra. Thank God the internet is a relatively new thing, or we would all be messed up beyond all recognition. Here's how she began. Jenna Phillips, a 21-year-old woman, started out her career as an optician. However, a drastic change in her career path turned out to be the best thing that happened to her. The native of Austin, Texas start stated in an interview that she started filming herself mimicking dogs, performing acts as such as chasing a bull, rolling about on the floor, and uploading these videos online. She added that she had always felt like she was, at heart, like a puppy. Phillips never thought of making money from her dog fetish. However, when she visited a convention in Chicago, she met a couple of men who introduced her to the pet play scene, and their encounter inspired her to learn more about it. She started sharing kinky videos of her acting like a puppy, and it worked well for her because she noticed that her following has massively increased. As of late, she has 218,000 followers on TikTok, and no one can get angry at her as the true source of the problem is simps. OnlyFans is for simps, you're paying for a girl's OnlyFans account. By doing this, you are paying their bills, thereby encouraging them to continue to be lazy thoughts without a respectable job when there's tons of free porn available. You aren't just dumb, you're also a simp and you deserve no respect. Once again, there are annoying guys, so desperate they need to pay to watch something when there is free porn available. And no, I don't think people who sell drugs have real jobs either, but it makes them money, so in a sense they are on the same level. There's just no respect to any of it. You can't knock her hustling when it's available, and these guys are willing for paying for this sort of stuff. Only fans is garbage, and only simps use it. Why in blue hell would someone throw money at someone like this when you can just go and find a decent cute person to date? Nobody with any self-respect would pay someone just to see nudes or naked videos. That's the epitome of low self-esteem. You might think these two stories are independent, but they are not. 
both are the signs of a continued decline of men in society. With this continued decline will come to an end to society. Don't believe me? Study history. Every time the standard of men goes lower, the society declines. It's unfolding right in front of our eyes. Now let me completely change gears for a second. Allow me to make a brash statement. The total number of United States deaths this year, the same as previous years. The USA is on a trajectory of having absolutely no significant increase in total deaths this year as compared to the years in the last decade, in spite of our current situation. You know what I'm referring to, the disease I cannot name. This pandemic is a scam. As of September, there was a total of about 2.33 million who that died. 2020 will have 0.8% to 0.9% increase in total deaths, just about the same as previous years. When this is finally revealed to the world, people will realise that there is no justification for the lockdowns, business shutdowns, mask mandates and social distancing. Our governors, mayors, health officials and police that supported, enforced or restricted our lives will be recalled, arrested, charged and prosecuted for the crimes against humanity. They will say, well, thanks to the lockdown we had the numbers low, yet they kept us in fear this whole year, as if the death rate was abnormally high. They deliberately killed the middle class and created dependency on government. They don't make it easy for us. I think we'll get another 5,000 dead in December, which will bring it roughly in line with 2017. It is worth mentioning that the population has increased by quite a bit since 2017, so the number of deaths should be slightly higher. We will see. They have been using a 5 year average which fits their narrative and that makes it look like we have 60k excess deaths, which they attribute to the disease I cannot refer by name. The same applies to the UK, after adding up every total death for each month this year, it is no higher than the past year. If there is an increase you can blame it on lockdown, because everybody is weakening their immune system by not getting the exercise and fresh air they need. It's sad to see how everybody is acting more erratic from lack of social hobbies and the fear and stress everyone has endured. It's all about vaccines, it always comes down to money. Yes, this current pandemic is a money making pandemic scam. That's all it is, all it ever will be. And finally, everyone on this planet can and will admit social media is one of the greatest tools for social engineering, yet nobody actually talks about it. It's just a coincidence. The likes of Bill Gates would never use this fatal flaw in the human condition to make such money or push his extremely obvious and admitted Eugenie's agenda. No way! Get off of Facebook and Instagram as it creates a virtual identity that is like an alter ego. You feed it your energy and this alter ego interacts with other people's alter ego, or better yet, virtual selves. Social media is a great way to maintain social control and set up an alternate reality outside of anything the law can protect you from. Next thing you know, you are out in public withdrawing yourself from reality to feed your virtual self, which is illusory and known by creepy people who sold their souls to a big tech. Reddit seems to be legit. There is something about exchanging information with strangers you will never meet that just seems less creepy.